This is something that is, was just rescued. It is a, I think a 74 AMC Hornet AMX. It was just rescued. I guess it was going to be crushed or something. And unfortunately it's quite rusty, but original four speed V8 car from what he said. He, like I said, he just dragged it out of who knows where. It was sitting as a plate from 1995 here in Georgia. This thing is so cool. I love AMCs. I mean, they're right up the road from me. But wow. See if I can pop the hood. I mean, they really just dragged it out with the tractor. From he, he said he had it on his rollback, and just dropped it here. That is just awesome. We're walking up towards the front again, different way. Here's a international. It must have been a pickup truck. And then here's a Scout, all-wheel drive. And it is rotted out. That is neat. And then over here, Ranchero. I don't know. I don't know Scouts. Full six cylinder. Bent right in half. Oh, that sucks. This thing's weird. He said it's like a Dodge Dart that they cut up and make something smaller. Oh, I'm in the weeds. I'm in the pointy stuff. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Well, it's something front wheel drive. Oh, there's a PT Cruiser. I know. And a C10 Chevy. And then, that is weird. Is that the cab you need? El Camino. C10. Golf carts. Jeeps. Ford truck. Walked into the last part of the yard. Fairlane 500 two door. Pose? And an old Willys Jeep. Oh, it's a 60. That's black, just like the other one I found. The moonshine hog. But look how narrow the deck is. Oh, someone broke the window on this side. It's a stick holding the door shut. Let's see what get in there. That is really cool. Oh, Dodge. Big Dodge. Yeah, I saw that. The, the, it's not a military, it's like a CJ2A. Yeah. yeah. I think, think they call these tall hoods. Yeah. Oh, there's an old Dodge truck. Yeah, right there, the old Dodge. That is neat. Of all the cars that were in this Tennessee yard, the AMX was probably one of my favorite. I love the color, the fact that it had a V8 originally with a four speed, and it was well optioned. I love AMXs and AMCs in general, and this just really hit all the right spots. Yeah, it was rough, but you know, at least it had been saved, and you know, it is for sale, so you know, someone could restore it. There are parts out there, and ironically or not ironically but the same time i saw this car right before this on the hot rod power tour my friends took 
their Hornet AMX on the power door and got clobbered by a dump truck. Currently, the owner is restoring the car for the 2023 Hot Rod Power Tour. And I'll tag him in the description as well as I'll try to tag him somewhere in the video. So that way you can see what kind of uh, evolution that car is going through. Because it's getting new suspension, complete like working air conditioning, and a bunch of other really cool stuff. But this is the last video from In The Yard. There's going to be one more video from the guy's barn. And then that will be it from this location. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video with the AMX and that International Scout and some other odds and ends from the junkyard. I was incorrect. There is one more video that you definitely will want to hang on for. That I'll release next week. It's all 57 Chevys in a barn and, you know, that old chestnut. But, uh, and then after that, I'll probably actually do a video on what I've been doing with the green and the blue car. Um, actually I've been working on some stuff for the green car, so that's very exciting. And I got some really cool news. I'm going to be attending the Muscle Cars at the Strip March 17th through 19th, and then I'll be at the Dodge Last Call event um, that Monday. So come and see me. I'll be walking around shooting pictures, you know, taking videos, the whole bit. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the description below. Otherwise, um, I'll be posting every Monday like usual. Stay safe out there and see you soon.